The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine. But it didn't make much difference. Come on, Max. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. Shot the second I got out of there. 
I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. Daphne's ship was always stocked. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone.
Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. Booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. Puta, aqui não há nada! Miguel, vem para cá! There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? Ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good.
the boat was well appointed. Pirates wouldn't get everything. Save some valuables. ship was always stopped.
booze, coke, pills. You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcelo. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it, it didn't seem quite so kosher. What about, what's her name? Daphne. I do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. Through here. You knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. Come on! We're gonna get her! Let's get her! There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Ah! be a reason why they're going across the canal. up top.
equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. why they're going across the canal. find on a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists I'd been the cabaret act shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality fancy seeing you here welcoming party. Nice to see a friendly face in Panama. I needed something to help me adjust to being back on land. That looked like the way up, but it was locked. I had to find a switch.
priorities, Max. I blocked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting to Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Jesus Christ. Things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Drinking. People die. Innocent. Who do you think Rob Rob? I don't know. I was told there was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? I guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no. No. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't think too much about it, but yes. Marcelo did drive off or something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a or so later. I think it was my month. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly bank in there. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him, because there it's easier to loan. I thought the Broncos were rich. But he goes rich. The other two, they well, they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families. The eldest brother is the king, you know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. But this is true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe he had some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that, that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. Passos? Passos is a bum ex cop. He failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but but, but not not probably, probably not a bad guy. guy. He's just a man, man caught in the crossfire. A very rich man. What about, about me? You? You're the fall guy. The American, the American running around, uh, acting like the action hero, killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a You're stroke of genius. I know how it is. It's you were an angry. angry Ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. Okay, let's take a drive. Wanna do some good? Hmm? Wanna get yourself killed in a good cause? And I need you to check something out now. What? That incident at the favela today. 
some of my officers say a bus drove up some captives. They did, they saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squad. The, uh... Gosh, gosh, right? Right. Who did it? I don't know, the cops. The other cops. There's the cops who shoot on sight. The oof, I think. Right, right. Max, you see that building there? Yeah. The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what, that's what it says. It says. People go in there. And large, large groups. And they're armed guard. But, but it isn't as a police station. station. And no one comes out of there. Yeah. Why don't you just go to bust the joint? Get a warrant. Or a moment. The cop, Max. Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> Time to find, find out, out what's, what's going, going on here. I didn't fancy the book myself in the presidential suite, so I went for the face.